The Forge Around the World project is something that comes to me from Roy at Christ-Centered Iron Works, and it originated with Yemez over at Island Metalworks. And I have had this for months. I didn't think it was that long. I just looked at the postmark on the box that Roy sent. And I've had this for way too long, so I need to do my part to either just put my touch mark in the book and send it on to somebody else, and that's what this is, is a touch mark registry that's going to travel to a whole lot of different Smiths, hopefully all around the world. Yamez is kind of the one overseeing this, so it's whatever he wants to do. But he's also encouraging people to make improvements on the book itself and to do some decorative work. And I thought I would replace these wire loops that serve as hinges and actually make a bound book out of it with some nice forged iron hinges, which also means I need to set the pages up kind of like a loose leaf binder. And that's something I'm gonna to have to think about just a little bit. But today I wanted to get started on the hinges. Currently this book is about one inch thick and as it fills up, people are gonna to have to add more pages to it. So I need to leave plenty of space Plus, as people put touch marks on these pages, they're going to start to warp and twist a little bit, and each page may take up a little bit more room than it currently does. These are about 3 16 thick right now, so you can put a nice, deep, bold touch mark into them. So I'm going with a piece of quarter by three for the spine of this notebook, and then they'll get hinges and covers on both, and this will get some sort of a U-bolt to actually serve as the loose leaf that'll have to be unbolted to change the pages. Little inconvenient, but I think it's going to be better and more solid in the long run than something that just bends and snaps together. It just seems like a nut and a bolt might be a lot better. So that's about 75 millimeters wide, 6 millimeters thick. The hinge on the back, I'm going to start with a piece of one and a quarter inch material. And this looks like it's about 30 millimeters wide, eighth inch thick, so that's about three millimeters thick. And this has to have an eye on both ends, and those eyes have to come out exact on the end of this bar. If they're too long or too short, the hinges aren't going to work properly. Too short's not bad. I can draw it out a little bit in the middle and make them longer. Too long, it's going to be really hard to upset this thin strap material for a hinge. So the first thing to do is figure out how much material I need for that. And to do that, I'm simply going to bevel the ends of this to start the eye, roll up an eye on both ends, see how much this shrunk, and then I know how much material I need to cut that off. And I've already got one eye for each of the two hinges I'm going to make for this. If that doesn't make sense, hopefully it will before we're done. Black Bear Forge is sponsored by Combat Abrasive. Use the link in the video description for a discount on your next order. This eye starts just like any other hinge eye. I prefer to start at the edge of the anvil and wrap it up as much as I can by eye before I put the pin in, and then I size it to the pin. If this takes several heats, just go ahead and take several heats. Then we'll do the exact same thing to the other end and see how much material we ended up using. And if the eye's not rolling up perfectly, this little hardy tool definitely helps.
I started off with about 21 inches there. Now I'm down to a hair over 18. So that is three inches that I have lost in this length. So it's an inch and a half per eye. I then look at this with a kind of a mock-up hinge here. I know that I know that for everything to work right, I want the edge of the eye flush with this, and that will make the cover also flush with this on the inside. Again, I hope that makes sense. So that means I want three inches from here to here, plus an inch and a half to make the eye. Now when you grind the bevel on this, grind it on the back side because you will roll it away from the bevel when you make the eye. That's the easiest way to get the bevel to tuck in nice and tight like this. Now forging these eyes is essentially the same except it's a little bit more awkward because you can't put it flat on the anvil. So going to an anvil block may be your solution. If you've got a really chewed up anvil edge, this is a good solution anyways. And of course you can always go back to this block at this stage, which is probably easier. So now the question is, does it fit? If anything, it is just the tiniest amount loose, which is a little harder to fix than if it was too tight. But I think this eye here can close up just a hair more and that should take care of it. Plus it may shrink a little as it cools, although this is so short it's not going to shrink very much. Now if that hinge pin has been used, it might be hot, so be careful about grabbing it. It's not going to take much. Okay, if anything, I just made it a hair too small. There may be some back and forth. Working from the back, you could peen this. As that cools around there, it should cool to a perfect fit. And of course, do the same thing to the other one.
Well, I think that ought to do it. I'm gonna let both of these cool on here and hopefully then they fit just right. But you can paint it a little bit cold if you only need to stretch it a 32nd or 16th of an inch, something like that. Really pretty easy to do. So the next thing then is to go on to the straps that will go on the front and back covers of the book. I'm going to start these other straps at the finial end, isolating a square mass. And I don't want to run this taper up to where the eye will be. I want to leave that parallel. There'll be a lot of filing on this little strap. So that's just roughed out. I'm going to do that to all of these and then let them cool. And then I'm going to actually saw this to start creating my finial end that I want. I decided to go ahead and draw these out to a point so when I cut the end and split it, I'm going to have a little bit more material to work with. The spare point would be an acceptable finial on its own, but I've got something else in mind. And of course, rolling up the eyes on these hinges look exactly the same as rolling the eye on the other straps, so I probably won't show all of them.
I'm going to go ahead and leave this project right there for now. I'm going to let these hinge pieces cool off some. Then there's going to be some filing. I'm going to have to cut the hinge joints, rivet them together, do all that, and then assemble all this into a book. So I think all of that assembly work, all that cold bench work, I'll make as a part two to this video. But I do think all the actual forge work is done. I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video.